Hi, beautiful. Thank you for being here today. We're gonna watch some videos together because that is what we love doing the most. Spending our Sundays, or our Mondays, or Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Saturdays, together watching people destroy their hair, slash, make their hair look unbelievably amazing all on their own. So let's do it. Today I'm gonna be doing X Mondo colors in garnets. I'm gonna be dyeing my natural hair because I watched his video of him trying it on dark brown hair. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I mean, I think the title says it all, but we're watching people color their natural hair without bleaching it at all, a color from the rainbow. Okay, so we got some purple here and not just purple, it's Garnet. Garnet is one of my newest colors. Garnet is this super deep, pigmented, rich purple color. And of course we named it after the gemstone, Garnet. This is our Garnet gemstone and this is the color. It is magical and it's going to look so freaking good on this buzz cut. There's not a lot of things I love more than a colorful buzz cut. It looks sick every time. If I didn't have to test products on my hair constantly, I would have shaved my head already, but I must test products and I must have a head of hair to do that. And we come out with more and more of them as we go because I, they just have the most payoff. They're so much fun to create because you guys always love the darker, deeper purples, reds, pinks, blues. Everything that's really deep tone tends to look incredible on everybody. Plus you can use it on darker hair. So we're about to see what happens when she uses Garnet on her non-bleached hair. We'll see what happens. So first what I'm doing is saran wrapping my hand because I didn't have gloves and I did not know this was a hack, okay? Listen, that definitely will work if you have very short hair. Guys, if you buy my color, the only thing you need is gloves. That's it, okay? I made sure you didn't have to need a bowl or a brush and you didn't need to be a professional hairdresser to use this stuff. It's very, very easy to use. Very simple. Right out of the jar, pick it. You'll see it in a second. I don't have to explain it. But you just need gloves, okay? Because this will stain your hands and it won't be fun and it won't look good and you will have it on your hands for a while and we don't want that and it's just not a good look. Now I am dyeing my hair. As you see, I'm trying out the different lighting settings, but it's kind of hard to see no matter what I did for the lighting setting because my hair is so dark. I can't see sh it looks a little purple, but this is the thing with the very dark colors. It's kind of mysterious. It's like, ooh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna be the vibe? Because they're so, so dark. It almost looks like black. But when you rinse it off, the magic happens, okay? So this this is good. This is, this is a good sign that it's very dark. It'll be okay. And that is me just rubbing it in, getting it all up in there. I tried to speed through some of this footage because I ended up having to bleach my hair. So I'm just showing you how I did it. I massaged it in my head and it kind of turned out like like this chestnut red brownie color. Okay, <laughs> this is turning out different than I expected. Um, I expected it to really work on her dark hair. However, maybe I was um, a little bit too optimistic. Listen, we do not directly create these colors to be used on natural dark hair. However, a lot of them do work, but this is the reality of it. Her hair was clearly very healthy and very low on the porosity scale. So my permanent colors are probably not gonna stick to it. If your hair is a little bit more on the damaged side or the dry side, and it's a little bit less dark than this, you're gonna get more color payoff. So it all depends on the person and the hair you're starting with. But this is realistic results and it looks great. And people always ask me what's gonna happen if they use x Mono color on darker hair. This is a realistic result. I do really like this color. You see how it kind of tinted her hair? It did not lift her hair color because it is a semi-permanent color and it does not lift, but it did change the overall tone of your hair. Also, one other thing to consider is if your hair is on the healthier side, it will tend to wash out a little bit quicker than if your hair is more porous. So keep that in mind, the more you wash it, the more it will fade. But that is what we like about semi permanent color is that it's easy to switch out when you want to change things up. And if you're like me, you know, I want to change things up all the time. So I love a semi permanent color. So I don't have to commit to anything and I can do really cool stuff with my hair. Well, I used to. Um, I'm in my kind of natural phase right now, but. Um, I thought it was pretty cute, but I kind of wanted a more vibrant look to it, but maybe I didn't apply enough of it. So I guess we're going to see her also bleach her hair and then put on the color too. So um, this is cool. We're going to see even bigger transformation you guys get to kind of compare how it looks on darker hair versus bleached hair so next i'm going in with the salon care in the developer 20 and the quick blue powder bleach wrap up my hand again i'm so glad we went with 20 volume because her hair is so short and really close to her scalp that means you're gonna get a lot of heat from the scalp you're not gonna need a 30 volume or a 40 volume to get a really light result 
20 volume is perfect for this case because she has barely any hair on her head. You can apply this within like 20 seconds. Okay, maybe not 20 seconds, like five minutes and get it all in there quickly and everything will process at the same amount of time and you don't have to worry about certain things over processing or under processing. So this is a great choice. I love it. We're doing a great job today. And here I go with the bleach. I did not have any brushes, so I smooshed it in my hair, but I figure since my hair is so short that I can just use my hand and it'd be fine. That is totally fine. I approve you using your hands for um, bleaching that very short hair. The only thing I would recommend is using a fine tooth comb on hair this short. It's kind of hard to get on every little strand when the hair is this short. So using a fine tooth comb, going through and then reapplying over that combed hair is always the best idea to ensure extremely perfect coverage. We are going in there with precision work. We are putting this lightener on every single hair strand and I love to see it. We're putting our little saran wrap glove to work and it is effective and I love it. I'm getting excited because this is gonna be even brighter than what she has now, obviously. Pre-lightening your hair before using Garnet, it's gonna give you the ultimate best results um, and we're about to see the vibes. And whenever it gets to this length of me growing out a buzz cut, I feel like it just gets so boring and I need to add some color to it. This is probably like the eighth time I've shaved my head. Yeah, so I'm wrapping it with saran wrap, hopefully trying to insulate the heat. It's a great idea that she put a bag or saran wrap over her head when this was processing because it's gonna create a hotter environment, a more steamy, humid environment that is great for lightener and great for getting brighter results and faster results. And then it's at this yellowy color. So I'm like, that's gonna be fine because it's a red, so. Okay, so her hair definitely turned out a little bit yellow. I would have liked it to be a little bit more pure, blonde, blonde, white not white, but like less yellow. She said it's a more red color. It definitely has red tones in it, but Garnet is like just a deep purple. You know, it's like super deep, like very extravagant royal purple. Like, I don't know how else to explain that. So if you want the most pure, clear results and just as it's depicted on the website with swatches, you're gonna wanna lighten your hair to a really blonde color, but this is still gonna look beautiful. Also, her hair looks to be wet, which I would not apply this color to wet hair. If you want more longevity out of the color and you want more vibrant color, apply dry and there goes the satisfying color oh yeah right up in there oh i'm so excited this looks amazing already it's like this dark red it's so rich and it actually did smell amazing and there were little sparkles in it yeah you know i put sparkles in it i mean come on you want a fun experience when you're coloring your hair right you want it to smell good you want to feel good you want your hair to be better quality post coloring you want some bomb booster in there a little ethically sourced sparkle in there and i did it for you i put the sparkle in there i know you people who watch my videos and follow me and buy my color i know you're just like me you know anything that sparkles makes me happy in life i don't give a fuck if it's tacky i was shopping the other day and i was um perusing the aisles and every time i saw something sparkly i was I was like, fuck. I want that on my body. But the items that were sparkly in that store were like $7,000 and I was not about to spend $7,000 on a sparkly top. Okay, but I will find something else that sparkles and I will wear it. Who else likes sparkles? Comment down below. So it was pretty amazing getting it all in there and you can really just apply it like a conditioner. Just get it all up in there. Okay, she's right. It is a little bit red. I honestly, guys, <laughs> sometimes I forget exactly what tone these colors are until I see it again. I work on so much stuff all year round that like I, my brain is in 2026 right now. Okay, 2026 products. It's like a purple slash red color. There we go. All right, but it's gonna be even more red on her because she has yellow in her hair still. So the yellow with the purple, it's just gonna be a little more red tone. And as you can see from the back, I didn't really bleach it that even. Obviously you can see my neck hair is a different color, but the color ended up being pretty dark on my head. So you couldn't tell that much that I missed any spots. And I wanted to do this color because it is coming into the fall time and I wanted something to more to stand out with, you know, kind of want to look like a fall leaf falling from a tree. I love that idea. It is spring right now, currently when I'm filming this video. And um, I am just seeing all the leaves and the flowers start to blossom around me. And I am inspired to do something to my hair. And she's making me want a buzz cut, a colorful buzz cut so badly. Um, but the colors outside right now are so 
Alrighty, I need to create a line of colors that are just directly related to spring and like the flowers I see. It'd be kind of fun. And this is the finished product. I was really happy with how it turned out and I feel like it makes my face glow more. So yeah, 10 out of 10, recommend. Ah! Oh my God, I love you. You look incredible. That looks so awesome on your hair. Honestly, like the bleach version and the non-bleach version look pretty similar. I think you could have even got away with just not doing the bleach it looks beautiful either way super vibrant i wish we had a little full 360 of that i want to see more of it but i love that color on you and yeah you do definitely look healthier with that color like it really brings out the natural undertones in your skin and you just look warm and vibrant and inviting and just like gorgeous this is why i love color it can just bring out life in your skin and in your literal life and bring over so much confidence to your life every time we create a new color i hope it inspires more confidence in people and uh, that's always the goal hey i'm actually going to be using brad mondo's um super purple hair dye it definitely lives up to its name that's for sure Ooh. So starting off, she has insanely gorgeous hair. It is so thick. Oh my gosh. I think it's her natural color, but maybe it was like a little bit bleached out by the sun. This is a great scenario because obviously when your hair is a little bit lightened by the sun, it's probably more dry and more porous. Plus you have those lighter pieces to really pick up on that color. So she's still gonna get a lot of color payoff without having to lighten the hair even more than what it is right now. I can't wait to see this. So in case you guys don't know the history of my hair, so I've, because obviously, so you can tell like this is a little bit more red in this lighting than up here. Like two and a half years ago, I did high lift color and then dyed it teal. Um, about a year and a half ago, I dyed it blonde. And then like nine months ago, I dyed it red. And then it faded super fast because I used X Mondo hair color and didn't realize it was semi-permanent. <laughs> and I was looking for something that lasted longer. I went and actually got some box dye and was pleasantly surprised by how well that turned out. I'll put a picture right there. And then... I let that fade and I went back to like blonde because that's what was underneath all my hair color. And then I dyed it pink, but it like barely showed up. Okay, there's a lot more going on here than I thought there was gonna be. Um, so her hair is sort of natural. I mean, it's been many months since she's colored it. So like the top half has her natural color and the bottom half has a bit of pre-lightened color going on from nine months ago covered in box dye. So sh this color has got a lot of work to do, okay? We got this, bro. She is using super purple. So it is one of our darkest colors and that is great. Whenever you're doing something over already existing colored hair or darker hair, you're gonna wanna go with the darkest semi permanent color possible. So I watched two Brad Mondo videos, so here's one, and then here's another. And I also have a whole list of notes that I took. Yes! Um, you win today. You took notes, you watched videos. <laughs> I hope the notes were correct. I didn't look that closely at them. And you know what? I don't want to look that closely at them because I'd rather be pleasantly surprised when you do everything right, right? Or shocked when it's wrong. I don't know. I don't usually section my hair when I'm doing hair color simply because I don't really see the point in it because, and I know if Brad Mondo sees this, he'll be like, like so disappointed in me. It's just like, it's hair color, it's not bleach. Bleach is much more specific and that can ruin your hair super fast. Listen, I hear you. And I understand why you're saying you don't section it. However, yeah, bleach is definitely more serious, but, 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 even when we're using semi-permanent color, we want to section just so that we know we got on every single hair strand. It is so easy to miss hair when you take a big clump of your hair and just put color on it, I swear. It's so hard to get every single hair strand that way. But if you don't really care about it being even, then just apply it however you want to. I'm just telling you how to do things to get the best results. But again, it's up to you. It's up to you, the creator. You hold the results in your hands. With hair color, I'm just like, yeah, you split it in half, you're like good to get. But I was watching his videos and he said, you want to try and split it in half and then, let me see if that lines up in the middle part. You want to try to split it in half and then in half again. Hell yeah, that's what I said. Quadrants, baby. Four of them. I don't think a quadrant can mean less than four, can it? Quadrants is four. So I went ahead and split it in half and that's what it looks like from the back. It's not the best sectioning I've ever done. Okay, that's a lot more purple than I thought it was going to be. Oh man, okay. <laughs> it's called super purple. You think I would lie to you and not make it super fun? Purple? No, I would never. It's gonna be the most purple thing you've ever seen in your whole life. I guarantee it. It's so pretty. It's got glitter in it. And I'm just gonna 
Put it on. Wow, okay. Whoa! Oh my god, this is gonna be a dramatic change. That's like a lot more vibrant than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> what do you mean it was a lot more vibrant? Did you see our pictures on the website? It's vibrant as fuck. We are definitely getting it on the top of the head, right? Definitely, for sure. And where that part is, that is definitely the most important part. I, I, you know, I agree with you. However, I'm a little worried about all that hair in between here. It's like we're applying to the surface, but not inwards. And once you apply this thicker hair color, by the way, the thickness is so that it doesn't drip on the floor or get all over your balls and sh so we made it thicker to be more user friendly. We really think about everything uh, and I listen to you guys. But because it's thicker, you gotta work section by section. And uh, you know, it's not gonna seep through all the different layers by itself. You successfully got it all over your face, which, you know, I'm expecting at this point because I hardly ever watch a video where people do not get color all over their face. Um, I wish I could help you with that. I wish I could find a way to make you guys stop coloring your faces, but it just doesn't seem to be happening like that. All right, so I'm gonna rinse my hair out. I just laid with my doggy for for um, like 45 minutes, 50 minutes. I'd rather leave it in longer than not. And I know that some of you guys might be like, it's gonna dry your hair out or mess it up for leaving it in too long. But at the same time, Brad Mondo's hair products have a whole bunch of proteins in it. So I'm not entirely concerned with leaving it on for almost an hour. Don't be concerned. You can leave it on as long as you want, really. 20 minutes is what we recommend, but you're not going to damage your hair by leaving it on longer. You just might get more pigmentation from the color. It is filled with proteins and bond boost shine ingredients and hydration ingredients so your hair is gonna be better post coloring hey guys so this is the final result of my hair it is so vibrant it's absolutely insane ah the matching nails and the makeup and the hair oh sh and my hair looks and feels amazing as i mentioned in the beginning of the video it is it was so dead because of the bleach and then you look at it now it looks so healthy it looks so shiny like this is probably the best i've seen my hair since it was my natural like virgin hair it doesn't even look like the same hair texture what this is probably the prettiest purple i've ever seen in my life oh it's so pretty brad mondo you completely outdid yourself i definitely recommend x mondo color to anyone who's looking to dye their hair in abnormal color I'm shocked. I'm shook. I love you. Um, your hair looks incredible. You look amazing with purple hair. I love this color on you. You're right. Your hair does look so much better quality wise. And I am so happy you loved it as much as I love it. This is your color, girl. Especially with that makeup, absolutely killing it. I feel like I mean this in the nicest way possible because now we have a better color, but the color before was kind of washing you out a little bit and kind of was blending with your skin. And now this is really bringing out the vibrancy and the pinker tones in your skin. And you just look all around so much cooler, you know? Like so cool. If you love me and you love X amount of color and you love X amount of hair, you know, give me a like or a comment or both or a subscribe. I don't ask a lot for them. If you like hair just reacts give this video a like thank you i appreciate it very much have i told you you are stunning and beautiful and i love you so very much groceries this looks like a bedpan it is how long am i gonna be here <laughs> wow would you look at that it's this purple it's your favorite okay a lot has just happened in the past 30 seconds so she's dying her boyfriend's hair her boyfriend has natural sort of like gingery brownish hair I think it's hard to see in here, guys. I complain every week now. This surface has made things a little bit brighter and I can't f see anything. <laughs> but it looks good on camera for you. This is gonna be interesting. She's doing kind of like, I think she's doing purple on his like, more orangey toned hair so the purple will be a little bit warmer obviously i told the lady at sally's i'm dying my boyfriend's hair and she was like Bitch. some people can be so rude i think she thought we were just going through stuff was just like this is how we spice up our love life yeah there it is again right in the eye no way super blue why i'm thinking of doing like a mixture purpley blue yeah but not like that like stripes like a zebra but like an edm one i gotta tell you guys i wasn't listening to much they just said because i was just thinking how cool it is that i get to make things and then it goes in your house and you put it on your head and it's just the coolest thing ever and i'm so grateful so thank you for allowing me to do that and living my 
ultimate dream. I'm the luckiest person ever. Oh, sorry, they're doing like stripes. Is that what they just said? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be very different. But this part of your hair is gonna be completely blue. I'm Either okay. that or pink. I didn't want to make you look like a gender reveal though. Oh, that smells so good. Hold your tub. It's not, not edible, right? Not, not edible. edible. Who wants an Exmondo fragrance? If anybody owns Exmondo watching this video currently, comment below and let me know if you want a fragrance version because I'm down. I'm down as fuck. It smells so good and I tend to wear my oils on my wrist because I love this scent so much and we worked very hard perfecting that scent and it is literally done at the same place that your favorite perfumes are made. So I'm very passionate about fragrance. Mm, it's cold, it's so cold. Start with the shower. It's super blue. We might need some rain wrap. Does it say aggressively rub into? It's implied. She's doing it like a hairdresser would, you know? You know, you gotta aggressively rub that thing into your scalp, into your damn skin. Okay, we gotta get really deep in there. The thing is, when you're dying short hair like this, or so I've heard because my aunt is a hairdresser, you know her, because your hair's so short, you kind of have to dig into it like that to really surround and like coat the follicle. Ah, yeah. That is exactly what you do. Great job. Such good advice. What's that one thing Bob Ross does? Just beat the down. Oh, yeah. I'm doing good. Oh, right into the beard. Thank you. We should do your beard. We should <laughs> I was just saying the same thing. You should color the beard. Please tell me they colored the beard. Oh, babe. I'm sorry they were stuck. You're the worst. <sighs> so I've never done this before. I'm gonna do this side blue because if it touches the side hair, then it's okay. Oh, all the way to the root. You don't want your roots showing. You don't wanna be that girl. Okay, so another thing with my color is that you can put colors right next to each other, lay them on top of each other, and they will not bleed into each other. Sometimes with like a yellow or an orange, it's a little bit risky, but with darker colors like this, I can pretty much guarantee that they will not run into each other. And I've even done it with yellow and they don't run into it. Because they have that thicker consistency, it tends to really grab on the hair and not slide anywhere. So the colors do not mix. But also if you want them to mix, they're really easy to mix and blend with your fingers. You just want it, you know? They're not gonna do it on their own. She's doing super blue, super purple, super blue, super purple. That is gonna look so cool. I think over his more gingery brown hair, it might not be a super drastic difference between the two colors, but it's still gonna look very, very, interesting. I don't know. I'm excited to see the results because I really don't know what's going to happen here. Is this from Brad Mondo? It sure is. We like Brad Mondo. We love Brad Mondo. He never replies to any of my videos, even though I've done extensive great videos about hair dyeing. You've only done one. But it was good enough to get his attention. Clearly, it wasn't though. I feel like I've seen you guys before, have I not? I'm so sorry if I haven't. And hi, I love you guys too. And thank you so much for making any kind of content with my color. I appreciate it a lot and I love watching it. And I feel, I don't know, I've seen, I've definitely seen your videos. So this one is gonna be blue. Is dinner ready? That doesn't feel right. No. Ah, okay, so we're done. Completely? No. There's some on your beard. I feel like I could do the rest with my fingers. Get into me. Okay, this one will be purple and this one will be blue. It's making me tired. So I'm relaxing you. Uh -huh. Ooh, it's coming along. We are making progress and we got those stripes of blue and purple like she imagined and the vision is coming to life. Reveal your hair. <laughs> Babe, I told you you were purple. <laughs> what, does like? what does that look like to you? Uh, uh oh, take it with me. So it definitely turned out pretty purple all around, like I was worried about. I think that doing the two colors next to each other on hair that is not pre lightened was just risky. So it ended up being all purple, and it is so fun. Vibrant. I don't understand how it came out this vibrant. Honestly, I was not expecting this kind of vibrancy with just my color over non pre lightened hair. It just goes like Stonehenge. Babe, you look like one of those guys that's like on the posters of barbershops. The hot ones. <laughs> I like it. Thanks, babe. I like it a lot. You're the only one. This looks awesome. I love this purple tone. I actually love it with the orange beard because I don't know, it's just like cool and warm and it's just like so contrasty and you pretty much never see people do that. It is a very bold, very daring look and only somebody like this man could pull it off. Like the confidence is just next level. Hello, welcome to Hot Topic. We're gonna help you with. Hey, you wanna go to Taco Bell real quick? Cause I have to go to work. <laughs> My favorite bands are 
a day to remember. I know we're just having a normal conversation, but I still need to do this every fraction of a second. I'm obsessed with this emo hair. You can also really see the vibrancy of the color when he does little bangs. Like, I, I think it looks incredible. It's definitely super fun purple and it looks sick congrats like look at this before and after that is nuts oh my god wow beautiful so i hope we learned a thing or two from today's video if you want the best 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 results when using x mono color you're gonna want to pre-lighten your hair however if you're okay with the color not being as vibrant but you want kind of a fun little change that is very temporary definitely you can go in on your darker hair just know that there's a risk that you won't get as vibrant results as you would if you were to lighten your hair just a little bit more so my permanent color does not lighten but you are going to still get pretty cool results without pre-lightening oh also go with darker colors uh especially our new colors work our darker new colors whoa i got our blue and purple limited edition shift and our purple and pink limited edition shift and oh also we have our red and pink limited edition shift colors so these are kind of two colors in one that shift with the light um depending on what kind of lighting you're in you're going to see a different tone so these are great definitely go with the blue and purple if your hair is really dark or try our gem line of colors or our super colors we have so many colors to offer you so pretty so try them out and please record a video i'd love to watch and maybe react to your video do you want to be in a hair just reacts just make a video guys you can shop x mono color and x mono hair with the links right down below that's all thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye